This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. All right, everyone, I hope you're all doing fantastic. So there's quite a few articles flying around at the minute, and I wanted to give my views on it as well, which is they're saying that Anthony Joshua is now taking the role as a bad guy, the villain, doing a heel turn, if you like, which is kind of odd, but I'm, I can see what it is that they're trying to do or whatever, and I don't think that Anthony Joshua is just just woke up and just decided, okay, you know what? I've had enough of being a nice guy. I'm going to be a bad guy. I don't think that's the case at all. It just happened to be that because he lost to um, Andy Riz Jr., there's been a lot of people being critical of him. Um, he called Lennox Lewis a clown, where for about a year or two, he'd been pretty quiet on Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis has been saying some pretty derogatory things, always criticising him, putting him down, saying how he's avoiding fighters, calling him how he's greedy. It's his fault that the Wilder fight didn't happen. All these kind of things that most people know are not true, but Lennox Lewis is saying it anyway, and Joshua didn't bite back at all. It just happened to be that recently he, he called Lennox Lewis a clown which is nothing compared to what Lennox Lewis has been doing, right? Um, in the first fight with Andy Ruiz Jr., Joshua was quite respectful to Andy Ruiz. Um, obviously, they had to fight, Andy Ruiz won. And Joshua even then said, let's give credit and praise to Andy Ruiz Jr. It was his um, night, it was his time, let's respect it, blah, 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 blah. And Andy Ruiz Jr., rather than accept it and say, you know, thanks, whatever, okay, he's done, he's been going at Joshua himself, which is very disrespectful, um, he's been calling Joshua a robot, um, he's been calling him a, a stiff, and he's got no head movement, and he's not a very good boxer, and he's not going to go to Saudi, and he's not going to go to the UK, basically just making things quite difficult, which is out of character for Andy Ruiz Jr. in itself, but it's probably getting to the point now where Joshua's like, I'm tired now, I'm actually bored of giving other people praises or sitting back and not saying anything, but people want to keep on coming at me. Why is Andrew Ruiz Jr. coming at me for? I did that boy a favour by giving him the fight in the first place, and this is how he wants to be disrespectful. Okay, cool. So then he's been saying some things about Andrew Ruiz Jr., saying his skill set isn't very good. He hit me with a lucky punch that was sent from the gods, and so on. Um, when it comes to Tyson Fury, he's been quite critical of Tyson Fury's last two opponents in Tom Schwartz and now Otto Wallin. Again, a lot of it is probably because Tyson Fury has been going at Anthony Joshua, saying maybe Anthony Joshua should retire. Anthony Joshua has been exposed. He's um, What happened to him against Andy Ruiz Jr. is what I've always told you is going to happen and things like that. So this is Joshua's way of getting back at him. Same things with Wilder, same things with other different situations. But is Joshua taking the role as a bad, bad guy? No, I don't think so. I think that uh, he's just reached the point now where he's just thought, why is everybody coming at me? I'm playing the humble guy, I'm being nice, I'm being respectful, but I'm not getting the same courtesy back. So why should I? I've had enough now. And I kind of like this. Um, I like the fact that Joshua is biting back. I do. Um, there's nothing wrong with him calling Lance Lewis a clown. Because you see, people say... Well, Anthony Joshua was disrespectful to Lennox Lewis. He shouldn't have called him a clown and what have you because Lennox Lewis is a legend, right? Okay, now Lennox Lewis is a legend. As I said before, he's my favourite heavyweight of all time. But he has to be held responsible for what comes out of his own damn mouth, okay? It's not like that nutter in the, in the corner of the pub who shouts abuse at people and people go, oh, you know what, just ignore him. It's just what he does. No. Lennox Lewis has achieved in the ring, for sure, but outside of the ring, he's coming across very, very bitter. And he has to be held accountable for what comes out of his mouth and not just go, oh, well, let him say whatever. He's deserved that right. No, nobody deserves the right to criticise other people unjustly. And in my opinion, I think Joshua was right calling him a clown or whatever else. So is this a good thing? For me, I like this side of Anthony Joshua. I do like the fact that he bites back once in a while now. It might just be because he's still hurting over the Andrew Ruiz loss. Maybe he's just frustrated the fact that it doesn't matter what he does, he's, he's got people coming at him from all sides. Maybe it's, maybe it's a combination of all that. Maybe somebody said, listen, maybe it's about time you did bite back rather than just be the humble, nice guy. Maybe. Anyway, I think everybody loves a heel turn for those who watch a WWF back in the day. The good guy's turning into the bad guy, the heel. 
people always like those switches, didn't they? So maybe, maybe. Anyway, that's what's going on. As I said, I'll put an article in the description box just to uh, back up what it is I'm saying, that there are articles flying around. I'm also making up stories. So anyway, give that a read. And while you're here, welcome. If you're new to the channel, of course, subscribe. Catch you all on the next one. <laughs>